Okay, the last thing I want to show you about the construction details of the <coughs> bumbler. This is a stainless steel scrubby that I purchased from a commercial restaurant supply, uh, industrial supply company. And it's been in the small bubbler for quite some time. And you can see it went almost all the way to the bottom of that bubbler. I'm going to want this stainless steel scrubby to be about here in the chamber of the new bubbler. Right? Here is how far down the cap is going to sit with the straw going down. So I know that the top of my stainless steel scrubby will be about three quarters of an inch from the top ridge right there. All right. Knowing that, I've taken a piece of tie wrap, a stiff tie wrap, and I've cut it in half. And I'm just going to put it in the bottom, I don't know if I can hold this right, in the bottom of the tube, inverted like that, so that it creates a standoff to prevent it from slipping all the way down. I want the stainless steel scrubby to be held near the top where the outlet is. I want the water fluid, the water fluid level to be someplace right about here. And I want a little bit of air space in between. So, all I'm going to do is just take this, and you know, soften it up in front of the heater a little bit. And yes, folks, that is a glass of brandy. Uh, it does help me to stay warm, so no comments about the brandy, please. And I'm just going to take this and slip it. I'm going to go the other way. Like so. And just take a file and push it down in there. Okay. So that'll that'll push off to the side a little bit when the tube goes down the middle. And if you look at the depth, I can just take this and say that the bottom of the scrubby will be right there. And that's perfect. Just the way I want it. Take it. Slide the scrubby. Like that. Stretch it out a little bit so I can easily get it into the opening here. And I'll just push it in like that. Get started. Incidentally, I'm using a uh, paste-type thread compound on the threads for all of my fittings now. I hope it doesn't poison the cell if it should suck anything back in. Okay, and I hope you can see that. And I'm just going to finish assembling it like this. And that won't slip down any more than that. And I'm just going to bring it over to the vise. Tighten it down. Yeah. Okay. 
almost go another turn, but I don't think I really need to. All right. And this is my rubber stopper into the half inch hole. Hopefully if I should ever get a flashback, that will relieve the pressure and prevent the PVC bubbler from shattering. There you have it. That's the completed bubbler. Be testing that up next.